In this video we're going to continue with the valve gear and we're going to have a look at these uh, lifting links so the drawing gives some details here I'm going to put some bronze bushes in so I'm going to ream those uh, four millimeters and then put some eighth bore one eighth of an inch bore uh, bushes in there this gives the centers at uh, inch and three quarters However, I'm following the recommendations by L.A. Saxby in the Model Engineer magazine. Uh, this goes back to December 1973. Uh, this guy made some modifications to the valve gear. And when it comes to these lifting links, this long link is actually, he's got it at inch and seven eighths. So that's what we're going to do. The short link is just uh, in accordance with the original drawing. But today we're focusing on the long links. So I've got a bit of 316 on this uh, plate, which we're going to use. So it's an extremely simple job to do. Um, we're just going to bang it into the CNC mill, press start. And while it does its thing, we'll just have a beer, generally lays around, maybe watch a bit of TV. Life's good. Okay, so let's go off to the CNC mill and get set up. Not today. I've got your CNC keys. I'm taking them with me. What do you mean? Hey! Hey! Unbelievable. Can you just believe that? He's gone off with me keys. Looks like I'll just have to resort to doing things the old fashioned way. Which means we'll have to start by marking this out. So we're starting off with a very pointy punch just to find the whole position so you can just about feel the lines give it a tap Then I go in with a standard punch, just open them out a bit. And just go in with a drill before I go to the drilling machine. I usually find that gives better results. So just check those and to a spot on. Yeah this one is over slightly but it's on the it's on this line but it's slightly off that line so that won't make any difference. Okay, I've just realised I've drilled it the wrong size hole, like an idiot. So I'm going to mark it off on the other side off camera 
and then drilled it with the right size hole. For some reason I was, I've drilled it uh, 4.8 for a 4mm reamer, believe it or not. Can you work that out? I think it's probably because I'm a bit upset about the keys. Okay, let's try and do it right this time. Got a 3.8 drill in there. So at my sticker board, which has been neglected for quite a while, apart from my own stickers, the first one was Aids Workshop. I've got one from Shark River Machine in the USA. That's Stephen Lang. So he's the next one on. So Stephen at the moment is restoring and rectifying what looks like a poorly made Stuart S50 horizontal steam engine but he's got a range of uh, content uh, definitely worth a look and the second one from the other side of the world in Australia is Matty's workshop So Matty is a really lovely guy, the quality of his work is absolutely amazing, so definitely worth a look. So two good YouTube channels there, and there'll be a link in the description. I've made up a little uh, dolly here, um, which I'm going to use to mark out the radius on the end. So this is the diameter or the radius of the radius at the end and I've machined this with this lathe tool so it's undercut so it's got quite a sharp edge so hopefully with a bit of luck it'll mark that out yeah not too bad can work with that I think Ok so the first step is just to file this to a rectangular section, the correct width which is quarter of an inch and also trim it to length. So I'm just going to use my uh, filing guide which is just two bits of mild steel bar pinned together. It could probably do with a bit of a clean up but it'll do for the time being. Pins could have been a bit looser, but never mind. So I'm just going to line it up with the uh, top of the radius there on each side and give it a file. Okay, just got a bit of light on the subject here. 
can just make some adjustments. Top that seat down a bit. Okay, that's the empty width. So we're looking for a quarter of an inch, 257, not bad, 254, two five four, two five three. That one's pretty good, but that's fine. I'll just trim them to length. Right, so the next job is to file this little recess here, but I think this is due for a bit of a clean up. So that's a nice job for the shaper. If you'd like to see some amazing craftsmanship, making a model loco using only a small lathe and hand tools, then head over to Dreamsteam. It's a fantastic channel. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I'll leave a link in the description below. Before I'm filing the middle section, I think it would be a good idea to put a radius on the end. Then I can bring the radius down to the line along here. I have made up some filing buttons. I have hardened these, but I'm just going to let them roll in the hole. So I want a little bit of a radius in here, so I'm just going to use a needle file. Go 
we'll go past the line. Just a bit more. Okay, that's them all filed up. I've made some little uh, bronze bushes to go in. So we'll stick some Loctite on, I think. If I can get some out of the bottle. Okay, that's them done. I've given them a polish with some 280 uh, AMI cloth. I may polish them a bit more later on, but actually I quite like this uh, satin finish that you get with the uh, AMI cloth. So I've really enjoyed making these, doing it all by hand for a change. I'm back. Have you had a good day? And I've had a great day. Oh? Look what I've made. How'd you make those? Wouldn't you like to know? I can see some areas where I can make a little bit of improvement. There's a little bit of a bump there. That there could be a better radius a bit further back. That looks okay. That's not too bad. Just a little bit of titivating up. That's enough for the day. I'll have a look at that tomorrow.